What the hell is that thing? I don't know. He's feral. I'm not fucking around with him. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Rebirth mod. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to start uh, looting around our area here. Um, let's start that process by finishing looting this place, because we never actually did that. Good. We got a couple of potatoes there. Potatoes. And we'll grab that stuff. Let's see. We already hit that fountain there. Got a bunch of shelves here to loot. And then, um, yeah, we'll just start kind of systematically hitting POIs around here, the ones that at least that we feel like we can handle at this point. Uh, oh, water, right. Yeah, I want to go, um, I want to go get some water too. So let's look at the map for that. Uh, okay, I don't see any water in the immediate vicinity. There's some water way back there. So, yeah, we'll just look around for it and and grab that when we get the opportunity. Uh, we have some gasoline. Oh, we want to run the gas and the saw blade over to Trader Rick's place because he's got that table saw. All right, is there anything back here that we want to loot? A little bit of cloth right there. Um, let's leave the shitter there so we have a place to go to the bathroom. <laughs> One of you guys told me in the comments after uh, episode one that the adult diapers are going to come in handy. I'm like, oh, no, that sounds like so much fun. Um, we can pick this stuff up, too, actually. Yep. And I think we can pick pick this up. Um, I'm not patching this floor yet. Just be, can we pick this up? Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not patching this floor yet because making blocks to do so is rather expensive at this point in time. It won't be later on, but right now, it's a little expensive. Okay, so let's go back up here. We're thirsty. All right, let's go ahead and just drink um, some clean water. We're uh, in pretty decent shape food-wise, but let's just throw, yeah, we'll throw that one back. Um, we can still, you know, we still have those other cans of food, so we need to prioritize chrysanthemum and goldenrod. And let's make another one of these hash thingamadoodles, too. Just to kind of get ourselves topped off. All right, now, these items that I just picked up, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to get a little bit better organized with this stuff. Oh, I guess that is the front. So, you know, I'll, I'll actually put tool types of items in there, and we'll, we'll probably put ammunition types of items in there. Um, because I don't, I don't know how long we're gonna be stuck up on this roof. We can put fuel in there, but it's awesome that we can pick stuff up. I love that. I wish we could do that in vanilla too. And then we'll stick the the desk there, and there's a decent amount of storage spots in there. All right, let's. Let's throw this back to get ourselves topped off. And we'll put, um, why don't we pick this up and put it in the corner? There we go. That way it's kind of out of the way. And then we'll put some storage over here for, uh, for food stuff. And I think I can pick up refrigerators too. Um, all right, let's see. For now, I'm not worried about organizing anything in particular, except for we we want to take at least some gasoline. Oh, there it is. Yeah, some gasoline and this with us over to the thing. And then we got to find a hammer so we can make the hammer and pliers tool, which will then allow us to build more things. Okay. 
Yeah. No. Uh, no sorting. Get get moving. <laughs> do that at nighttime <laughs> when you're sitting sitting on your ass with nothing else to do. Um, let's grab that fuel as well. Okay. We'll keep that with us for the time being. Uh, I think you just had, yeah, you just have the iron in you. Well, you know what we should do is actually take all that iron to the forge. So, that, you know, that way we can, uh, well, I assume we can start smelting just basic iron. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? Um, here we go. We have some there, too. And maybe we'll take the cement over there. That's good enough. So I'm debating whether or not I want to... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> if I want to make um, a pipe machine gun or just, you know, make repair kits for the bigger gun. The bigger gun is going to be more expensive to repair, obviously, but it's also going to be more powerful than a pipe machine gun. All right, so let's put some wood in there and oh so we don't smelt stuff first we have oh that's right we have that bellows too so if i wanted to what do i need for that just in oh we gotta we need an anvil though okay so i'll have to be on the lookout for that explosion resistant concrete shapes Ooh. That's a little foreboding, knowing that I'm going to need explosion resistance <laughs> shapes. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, can we make iron arrow? We need anvil. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, let's just store this stuff in, in here for now, I guess. And, you know, we'll figure all that out as we go along. Okay. This is where the table saw is. That's 36 minutes of burn time. That's pretty good. Um, and then, uh, where is it? Yeah, the saw blade can go there. And now we can make planks, which are one of the things that we need for real storage boxes. We need planks, and we're also going to need black dye. How in the hell we're going to find black dye? I don't know. That's super rare vanilla. But maybe it's not so bad here. What am I doing now? I am... Oh, we're going to exchange this ammo for some more 7.6. Let's see. Trade ammo. Uh, no, I don't want to trade seven sixes. I want to trade this other for 11 more of those. Nice. Uh, no, no, no. Make sure we have that set correctly. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I really like that, man. That's awesome. The other thing, um, will you, will you buy that? Or, hmm. So what do we do with cash? Do we use it in here? I don't know. Um, is it just a situation where they're... They just don't want this time around? Because in vanilla, the traders buy always buy cash. Yeah, we'll figure it out. You'll probably hear me say that a lot. Oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do a shift F2 to get up here. Just going to put a couple more things away and then we're going to go. Uh, I want to bring all of my jars with me. Obviously, we want the motorcycle. We Let's keep those so we can make extra arrows. And, um, say, and likewise, same with the stone. I think, too... Why don't we just make these now, and then we'll eat them to top off. And uh, I'm just going to say something else. I don't remember what it was. Uh, we don't need to actually carry... Here. We don't need to carry this stuff with us. Let's keep it here by the campfire. And Oh, okay. I do have the empty jars there. I think that's the other thing I was going to... I was just about ready to say is we got to find some empty where I put my empty jars. All right, let's keep this. I, I'm trying to keep as much stuff on the toolbar as I can. So we're, we don't get it in cupboard as quickly, you know, <clears throat> maybe we'll keep that down there too. The water we could actually boil too. 
And I don't have to sit here and babysit this because it'll turn off on its own, which is beautiful. Just amazing. I guess we can leave that open. All right, let's set this down. And let's go looting. Looting, tooting, rooting. <clears throat> um, we'll check. I'm just looking for a couple, any cars that are, that look lootable. We won't go any further than this down the, this road. All oh, right, we can't loot those. I forgot. <laughs> this isn't vanilla, OG. Oh, we can loot that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Run away. <laughs> Didn't even see him there. Um, so how do you how do you know what cars are lootable and what aren't? Is it a uh Holy shit, that guy was tough. I guess he's just like a brown wolf. Um, yeah. How do you know if a car is lootable or not? Because it looked to me like the one that I couldn't loot and the one I could loot looked pretty much the same in terms of, you know, how badly uh, torn apart they are anyway. Okay, so this one has a smashed hood and I can't loot that. But this one does not have a smashed hood. See what it has inside. Okay. So I guess that's what we're looking for is smashed hoods. Let's continue to gather this stuff. I am going to start hanging on to the nitrate and all the other stuff too while we're close to the base because then we can just go throw it in storage. This one I'm going to guess is not lootable because... Oh! This one's in, in really bad shape. Okay, I guess I guess there's maybe it's just a random thing and we have to check all of them. Okay, fair enough. If that's the deal, that's the deal. See now this one we can't loot. But it's also got more doors torn off. I still think though, I'm starting to think it's a random thing. Let me just go throw this stuff away real quick, because you know we just have to be really careful with our inventory space. In fact, I'm going to move this over to here. Let's see if we can make a couple more blocks as well. I got one thing of nails there and six things there. So that should allow us to make two more. There we go. That'll help. And if we need to pull up on a building to get away from a bad bat or something. That gives a total of three three blocks. Can I just... Yeah, there's no picking that up. You got to break it every time. I have a pain in the ass. Is what it is. We have our duct tape, right? Okay, because that's what we're going to use to repair our axe. We looted that cop car yesterday. So let's go down the road this way a bit, just just slightly out of town, and we'll check all the vehicles, and then we'll come back, and we'll, we'll probably do this Motel 7, and maybe try and hit that building there, too. There's a lot of zombos in that building, though. Got some glue. We need a total of six glue to... There's a weapons bag in here. To make the pipe a machine gun if I decide I'm going to do that. Still haven't decided yet. Low grade barrel part. Okay, we sh should be able to put that on here. Oh, we can't because it's already automatic, but it does let us put a scope on there. Um, does that, do, yeah, okay, yeah, and that does increase its damage. That's really the main reason why I would put a scope on this weapon. Okay, so looks like we have different grades then of, of weapon parts. That's interesting. Let's reload this now that we 
modified it. Hmm. Okay. Let's just pop out of town here momentarily and see if any of these vehicles are lootable. We'll, s we'll go all the way to this red uh, charger looking Nova. That looks more like a Nova or a Chevelle, maybe. Search damaged VM fastback. Okay. See what's in this car. Got some acid. I'm not going to assume that these these aren't lootable because it seems completely random. Got some cash there. All right. Let's try this one. That one's not lootable. Okay. See now that one looks like a normal. Vanilla. Well, no, I don't know. Does vanilla have hatchback types of vehicles in it? I don't remember. That one is not lootable. Alrighty then. We have a... Let's grab some goldenrod and chrysanthemum as we come across it. Can we... Can we scrap these? You know what? I think we need that shredder to scrap stuff. I believe that's how that works. Let's check these vehicles. And okay, that one's not lootable. I think we already looked at that one. Yeah, it's, it says it's empty. This is, it looks like a normal vanilla car here. Okay, a five pipe, which is good because we need that for... I remember doing this POI. I think this was one of the compo pack POIs. So. Oh, we're finding lots of acid. I mean, way more than you would in vanilla but at this point. There's a mini bike right there. Can I climb up this? Ooh. Now, there's a place to get away from some Zeeks if we need to. I mean, temporarily until they take the place down. What? <laughs> the hell <laughs> what does that say it says cruise in cruise in car show i don't think i've ever seen a car mounted on a billboard before at least not like that okay so yeah note to self if we need to get away from something real quick all right What's going on with this? Search damaged VM Moto Guppy Moped. All right. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. So we have seven uh, Zeeks in here. I'm just not used to those sounds playing all of a sudden. Let's get some nails from this. There's some resources we could tap into as well. Get a little plastic. Does this work? Yes, it does. Oh, we can buy distilled water. Right, right. Okay. I'm not going to go in there quite yet. Let's hit this. Spelunking Adventures. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is a vehicle we can repair. Nice. So we're going to need all of these parts. We have spark plugs. I love that. Okay. So Ragsy and Tigger. Tiger. Ragsy and Tiger. All right. So this is the first one of these vehicles I've seen. So what we'll do is... Um, We'll just start putting parts in here as we come across them. So we're going to need wheels, alternator. I mean, I think it'll be pretty obvious if we come across a, a car part. I think we have a battery and a spark plug already. So 
we'll go put those in there and we'll just keep working on that. Is this lootable? Gasoline. All right. Seems like we're finding a lot of gas. Well, not huge quantities of it, but it's, it seems to be fairly uh, abundant. Anything over here? All right. So let's do this. Let's go back to the base real quick. Drop these, the, this extra shit off. We'll grab the battery and the spark plug and come back and throw them in there. And then we'll just keep working on that as we go. You know, I should be using my bike more and conserving my energy because that's all this running around us. Burning calories. Hey, look at that. I can pick up the soda fountain. That's amazing. Anything else in here I can pick up? The cash register? All right, let's put a chair down by our campfire. Have a little bit of decoration in our house. We'll put this... I, I want to find like a refrigerator or something to put there, so... We'll put the drink there, and again, I'll get all this stuff organized overnight. Oh, maybe I didn't loot a battery. I thought I did. Apparently not. This we could take over to the, the trader. All right, we'll put this anvil in here. <clears throat> And you, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's gotta be a truck wheel. Oh shit, okay. Spark plugs go in there. So this is a car wheel. Ah, gotcha. There's different kinds of wheels. All right, so I guess let's go ahead and do Motel 7. And then uh, after that, we'll kind of see where we are. Seven entities, it says. So what I want to do here is I want to... Um, let's see. I'm going to move stuff around. So I'm going to put the sledge in one because I want to hit them to knock them down. But then we're going to use the axe after that. And I think I'll put the machine gun into three because these are like our main weapons. And then we want the Kenefi, uh available to us too as well. All right. Okay, nobody's in here. Oh, yes, look at that. That's what we're going to store drinks in. <laughs> I love it. We can just pick that shit right up. What is that? Moon Spelunking. Add this cassette to your collection if you haven't already. Your global achievements will indicate which other songs you need to find in order to complete a synth wave volume and unlock a bonus perk you can listen to the songs from your collection with a walkman or when driving a vehicle all right interesting <clears throat> i'll have to ask on on the uh rebirth discord if those songs are copyrighted or not we get screws and nails from taking a bed apart Nice. I should probably be using a wrench on that, huh? Yeah, there's the... There's the rattlesnake. Alright, we're thirsty, so... Let's take another water. We've got to make sure we come across some water before nightfall. Aha, look at that. Exactly what we need ammo-wise. Can I use a wrench on this? 
Oh, I can. But I like seeing, you know, all these screws and nails, because we need those to make blocks and stuff. All right. On seven six twos. Tripod. How many mod slots do we have on here? Look at that. Beautiful. So that should... Yeah, that should make our, our sight spread come in closer. I think there's a Zalm in here. Still asleep. There's two of them. Um, we could try the block them in trick, except for we can't because that sills in the way. Can we break it without waking them up? Yes, we can. Spider. <clears throat> Hate spiders. Okay, we killed him. We're not going to be able to get to him. Well, it, unless he keeps sticking his head out like that. Ah, oh, fuck. Got to reload after putting the tripod on. Maybe having the scope on here is not so bad after all. Oh, shit. All right, what the hell's happening? I thought I heard something crash down from the window. All right, let's see if we can knock you on your ass. Go here. We gotta get that axe that axe skill in. Uh we got more company. I need to get there we go. Oh. Um this one thing that's kind of interesting to me about what we're doing here is that I've I've never seriously used an axe as a weapon in this game before. I mean, I have, you know, here and there, but not like as my main melee weapon. So that's kind of cool. Okay, we're out of stamina. Uh, we should try and remember to take advantage of our... Oh, he's going to... He's going to come around this way. Uh, you know, try and put a bleed on him, too. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, he's just... He's just derping. OG reports seven targets purged from Motel 7 in the Pine Forest. Look at us in our bad self. Okay, nice. So, so does that mean we took out the Zeeks that are up in the the ceiling too? Up here? Because there's some zombs usually that hang out up here. We must have. They they probably, you know, fell down from the ceiling. Can we pick this? Oh, look at that. We can pick up our own vending machine. <laughs> That's crazy. <coughs> Crazy in a good way. What's that? Yucca juice schematic. Uh, helps you focus when you have to dig or chop some trees. So that's like a mining beverage. Oh, that's neat. Okay. 
We're not going to have room for everything up on the uh, on the roof of our building. Uh, in fact, let's pick this up too, because we can. All right, that's got water in it. Could uh, pick up some filing cabinets. We already have a desk, so we don't need another one. All right, let's get some leather from here. Well, I assume we'll get leather, will we? Yes, we will. Okay. Nice. I'm encumbered. Well, you know, usually when you put a washing machine and a dryer in your pocket, after you've picked up a water cooler and a vending machine and... God knows what else. Yeah, you might be a little encumbered. Okay, let's get up to the loot, which I think we have to get on the roof to get to, unless we pull up. Yeah, we should build it. Let's see, we've got three blocks, right? Yeah, there we go. Very good. And then the main loot. Okay, lumberjack outfit, but well, I think no, I think that these numbers are what we're currently wearing. Let's pick this up. Let's confirm that. Uh, where did it go? Lumberjack. Right here. Okay, so this one is 8.9, this one is 9.1. So this one actually has better, I mean barely, better armor. But it's also more damaged too. I think it looks better. We'll, we'll obviously we'll hang on to this in case this other one gets too damaged. Unless we uh, figure out how to repair it. Maybe it just, uh, I'm sure it probably has an armor repair kit of some sort. All right. Is there anything else up here? There's a bird's nest. I want to grab those. Those are ultra rare. wonder why that one doesn't show any eggs, though. Nothing in that book. More beverage. All right, let's get some leather. Nothing behind there. Another one of those cassette tapes. Can I pick this up? No, I can't. I, I wonder if it's because it's on... Can I pick this up? I can. I wonder if it's because it's on the... Um, it, it's got that light on top of it. That's why it doesn't let me pick it up. I don't know. We're like really heavy now. Let's get some nails from here. There's some, some wood planks. Nice. So this stuff is probably just sand, um, and we have cement as well. If we can get cobble out of here, that'd be good. You can get cobble from these in vanilla. So far, I'm just getting clay, but that's okay, too. Clay and sand. Some small stones. Oh, I bet you it's not going to give me... Straight up. Oh, no, never mind. It did. Oh, my God. I can barely move. <laughs> okay. There's uh, there's probably a few more things here I could harvest and stuff, but let's get back to the base and drop some things off. Let's stop off here for a minute and do an ammo exchange.
Wish I would remember uh, what I chose last time. But I'm not complaining. That that is a really handy, handy thing to have. Um, here. We might try that energy place. I mean, we we need to clear it anyways. That's that's part of I guess doing the purge. Is you uh, eventually the goal is you got to clear everything or at least seventy five percent of the biome and itself, which. I would imagine that's going to take a long time to do. You know, now that we have quite a few, um, you know, storage containers, I probably should over like at the entrance there, just make a bunch of drop chests. One thing I'm not certain of though, is how cozy we want to get in this place because you know it's not a stout building at all and we could get like maybe one of those outbreaks and they could just tear the shit out of the place of course if that happens i'll probably just end up running away because i think that would probably be the smart thing to do at that point put that in there okay all right let's um take advantage of the rest of our daylight here and See if we can make something happen at this energy place. Damn. All right, let's uh, get a little distance between us and that booger. There's 18, estimated 18 zombies here. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. He's feral. I'm not fucking around with him. Shit. So can I can I draw these assholes away from here and kill them and still get credit? Or do I have to kill them in on the property? Oh man, now I'm really glad we got this scope. Oh shit. She's feral. Where where the hell is she going? Zombie Builder and Zombie Booger. I'm really trying to conserve my ammo as much as possible. We only have 28 rounds left. Okay, are you guys just normal Zika Roos? Fuck. S4. Shit. That lumberjack is slow anyways. Alright, let's go shift four. Take this. Shoot this asshole. Get an axe hit in just so we can get some more skill points. Woo! That was intense. Okay. Some of these... Uh, some of these bodies disappear. Like, just instantly vanish. We're getting some 762 back, not a ton, but some. We say we still have seven Zeeks left.
I guess the okay, so I guess this is a tier three. I didn't even pay attention to that. And maybe, you know, there's a setting in the game where if you try and do a POI that you're not really leveled for, it kind of punishes you for it. I think maybe that's what's going on here. And it's it's questionable as to whether or not we should even should be doing this because it's just wasting our ammo, you know? I have eight rounds left. So, I don't know. Maybe we should not be doing this right now. Let's go ahead and loot. What the hell is that? Baking soda. Okay. We need a microwave in our lives and a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. We already grabbed a coffee maker. There's seven entities left here. Yeah, I I probably should not be doing stuff that's above my level too much. Only because here a kid. I mean, I can obviously kill these Zeeks until I run out of ammo. And then some of those zombies would absolutely destroy me if I tried to melee them. So, let's come back to this later, and it'll probably reset, but that's okay. Let's see if we can find something that's a little more at our level. Yeah, because see, this this shows that this is a level, uh, a tier 3. Um, you know, we were at this white tower place earlier, and it's only actually a level 1. I thought it was a level 3, but it's a level 1. But it's getting too late for us to be doing that tonight. Um, yeah, I want 762. And... Oh, I guess that's it. All right, never mind. I don't have enough to to make the trade worthwhile. Why don't we spend the rest of this afternoon before it gets completely dark um, getting some water. I guess I'll just take that with me uh, because we have we have five empty jars here and let's just go ahead. We're very thirsty and very hungry. I'll worry about eating later, though. Did I put any extra jars in here? Uh, okay, that will just cook. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So the nearest water on the map is all the way back up here. But let's, um, since I already have some murky water I can cook, let's go this way and see if we can find some water and also see what else is down the road a little ways further. Is there water in this ditch? No. All right. We have such a big city to explore here. It's just amazing. And it's in the forest. In vanilla, you don't get big cities in the forest unless you, you know, configure the map to do it like that. Usually the big cities are all in the wasteland or, you know, the snow biome or whatever. We have another cop car here. Nice. Very nice. Okay, there's usually a Zeke. Oh, it's time to repair this too, by the way. There's usually a Zeke that sleeps on the other side of this ambulance. Yeah, right there. So let's, um... Alright, he's just a... He's just a normal... I, I purged one target from an ambulance. Oh, good. We got medical, too. Beautiful. Get more medical? Yep, that works. Oh, wait. We can loot. Keep forgetting we can loot these Zikaroos. Not used to that, either. Used to be used to it, because you used to be able to do it.
check all of this stuff since we're here. We got some blueberries. More corn. That's good. I think we're going to be okay on food. You know what I need, though, is I need a grill so I can make grilled meat. I'm glad that we're finding actual edible food in these things because in vanilla, it's all just usually rotten flesh and on occasion, maybe a seed or something. Okay. Oh, there's water right, right down here. Okay, shift nine. Excellent. Well, we're we're running out of time, ladies and gents. Let's just uh, let's go down here real quick and see what there is to see. Maybe hit a mailbox or three. Look at that. Uh, oh shit, there's a bear. No, I don't want to tangle with him. He's moving this way at a pretty good pace, too, so let's just avoid. Alright. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is go back to the base, set down all of those containers we picked up today, and try and get some organization going. And then tomorrow... We'll pretty much just do more of the same. We'll just keep moving further and further out and doing doing POIs that we can afford to do for now. And we might need to prioritize spending money on ammunition. Uh, you know, we have the option, of course, to trade with that guy, but... Uh, we're gonna need more than than that, <laughs> so we'll, we'll you know we'll we'll figure it out. I know I keep saying that, right? But we will. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna let you go here. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye bye.